All right, home safety hotline. Don't know much about this game except being a horror game or unsettling type, at least. Full game came out last week, and figured I'd try doing this with people, mainly anti, because he's more the home safety man. Howdy do! I don't know what I did to be home safety, but here we are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let me connect. Let me show you my screen so that way you're able to see. Oh, yes. So, we're logging in. Oh, God. Uh-huh. Uh, mm. So, we got a commercial. Do you want to look at the commercial, or...? I mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, why not? Oh, God. I actually have to double-click. Nope. You know, I feel safer already. I mean, would you call this number to be, be a little safer? You know, despite the sky looking like the world is ending, um, yeah, you know, I'm sure this could only be a good sign going forward about our safety, saving other people. Use <laughs> dyslexia font? I didn't know there was a font for that. Yeah, this one just makes everything more modern, but come on, this is much more better. Uh, color that looks like an actual computer. Mm. Oh, now this is more Windows. Yes! Oh, yeah. That's the vibe right there. These What's are all the vibes that we needed. Handyman sucks. Nah, Lunar Office Sky. Office Sky. I mean, it, yeah, because it, it, it's not just changing the bar anyway. I mean, you just gotta stick with the Windows vibe here. Exactly. Oh, Phobia God. Oh, disabled. No, I don't need any of that. I ain't scared of insects, dark holes. I'm a fuck. You have filter for fear of the dark? How do you filter out the dark? Uh, you do you know, like spiders? I have a really bad case of fear of spiders. Like, seriously. Okay. Never take me to Australia. Because they're Dude. popular over there. <laughs> it's really in real life, my girlfriend, because my girlfriend, I disagree with it too, but my girlfriend's number one most pointed pet, pet right now is a tarantula, and I was like, are you insane? Welcome to the Home Safety Hotline family. We are pleased to have you aboard on our new Home Safety Hotline responder. Your, mm -hmm. your supervisor's name is Carol Regina. She will be calling you today to brief you on your do duties and we'll be reviewing your work daily to ensure maximum accuracy. As a reminder, response, responders with a 90% accuracy rate or more will qualify to receive our daily employee coupons. Work hard and be rewarded with incredible savings. Sincerely, the Home Safety Hotline Corp. Uh, attention call team due to an error with our archival network. So I mean, the, some of you may notice fo video files from our video archive appearing on your desktop. Please disregard these. They will be cleared up in due time. Well, I just want to point out, they said employees instead of employees, and I find that very disrespectful. <laughs> Monday. I hate it. Oh yeah, this is more Windows vibes. Let's go. Are you clocking in yet, Anti? Yeah, you know, I think I'm ready to clock in. Okay, bed bugs. Bees. Black mold, of course. Carpenter ant. Hmm. Uh, what the was that? Uh, I, I don't even know. Hi, Carol. During your time here at HSH. Before you begin your first day here, let me tell you a bit about how things work here. You are an HSH. Boring. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you diagnose their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Wow, the dialogue was much slower. Holy crap. Yeah, the dialogue was so much louder. <laughs> Cockroaches? Okay, that is a especially ugly looking roach. Gopher? That's not a bad problem, to be honest. I, I'd be fine with a gopher in my yard. 
I mean, gophers are adorable, but they're really annoying in the yard. Wait. Oh. Picks. John here. My wife insisted I call this number. It sounds like she thinks we might have some kind of infestation. My wife keeps telling me about specks of dirt or something in the kitchen. Just looks like coughing to me. I don't know. You tell me, I guess. Uh, put a hold. hold. Okay, so. Okay, specks of dirt, that's definitely gotta be something small. Yeah. Nice or small, which is kind of found in household. Hmm. I mean, it's in the house, right? So, yeah, it could be a. It could be a mouse. Yeah, but it doesn't. But I. But he doesn't. But he didn't describe any squeaky noise. He just says. Yeah, of dirt. The, the dirt could be the doo doo, you know, the little lefties. But we should check everything else first too. No. If there's dirt in the house, I don't think it would be a mall. It's it's gotta be really small then. Oh no! Please don't show. It's... Okay, it doesn't show us. Thank God. <laughs> you really did not need to see that. Carpenter ants, cockroaches. I don't think cockroaches would track dirt either, though. Uh, homeowners with cockroaches. Reports seeing droppings that appear similar to coffee grounds. You know what? Maybe we should consider it then. Cockroaches are known to be a danger to humans, but known to disease carriers. They frequently inhabit kitchens and others. This is definitely close to it. We can send it to him. You should make sure we check our other options first. I mean, that's the only option so far. We got carpenter ants, which nest inside the wood. That's not. Mm, no. Black yeah. mold, not not something. Uh, Bed that's disgusting. I hate black mold. Um, Bed bugs. Oh boy. Uh, known for feeding on the, hu the blood of humans or other mammals. Uh, sleeping areas of the home, so that do so that doesn't count. It's definitely not termites. They're way too small. Yeah, I'm starting to think you you're probably. On yeah. The... Yeah, it's gotta be cockroach then. Yeah, the description is just the most accurate from what the game has given us. Exactly. Hey! Oh god, it's how time to do it. I looked right the wrong time, that scared me. Oh. Oh my god, give us a break, woman. Hi. I thought it actually was. Sorry, my name is Grace, and it's probably nothing, but I thought I'd call just in case. Lately, I can't sleep at night because of this annoying little sound coming from my attic. Uh, it sounds kind of like, e e e e you know? Mouse. It's probably nothing. I'm sure it could just be regular old house noises, but I just thought I'd call to ask and make sure. If you have yes. a really loud, squeaky attic, then you probably need to call a health inspector mm -hmm. or a carpenter. That's a mouse. <laughs> That's That's definitely That's a mouse. mouse uh... Sounds of squeaking. We need to play the audio, that'd be funny. <laughs> that sounds more like a parakeet than a mouse. I mean, it's a 90s Windows computer, so it's not gonna be perfect. <laughs> yeah. Alright, it's gotta be a mouse then. Watch it be like a freaking gorilla or something. <laughs> if it's a fucking gorilla, come on. <laughs> the way the freaking hold music just suddenly freaking stops. Ah, uh, I can't. Oh. I hit something else. Shit. What was that? Hank here. Last week I called your guys about some crap in my yard. I was told wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more <laughs> piles of crap in my yard. I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. You better not tell me it's nothing again, because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is, so I can take care of it once and for all! Uh... Please hold. Okay, calm down, Hank. Jeez. Okay, so... I was terrified of doo-doo. I'm wanting to think it's a gopher, but I want to look at the other outdoor animals, just in case. I gotta keep the entries, too. He's saying huge piles of doo-doo. So, I mean... Uh... Do no. we have holosophobia, maybe? <laughs> yeah, but what the frick in this list that we have? Can no. we dig him enough freaking doo? I mean, maybe a mole. Maybe he's mixing it with dirt or something. Never kill a mole. Gopher. Gophers are adorable. You better not kill a gopher, I swear to God. Let's get him out. Oh, he sounds like he's clapping. Commonly, commonly damaging gardens. Hmm. Well, okay. 
Let's pull up. Let's, because what are other options, really? There's bed bugs, bees, black mold, carpenter ants, cro cockroaches. The only Lord. the only three things that I can see closely outside are, are a gopher, a mole, and a raccoon. Yeah. You want to just freaking scan the descriptions of all of them and stuff, just to make sure there's like any detail that might match what he's saying. Yeah. Fested with raccoons often repeat report frequent garbage, uh, garbage spills or clattering sounds at night. No. No, definitely not. So it's a mole or a gopher. Yeah, moles are dark. They burrow. Their burrow tend to look like a volcano-shaped mound, and they are known to eat insects. Mmm. I mean, that sounds something, but they look small to even create something that big. If he's talking about it. Well, yeah, but they're volcano-shaped mounds. We have to consider the fact that volcano is a huge word. Keep that in mind, because that is the closest we have. Yeah, and last gopher. Gophers are small, brown fur furry mammals with enlarged front teeth that are known for living in burrows. They can become a pest of homeowners when they choose to burrow on their property, commonly da damaging gardens. Literally the exact same description, but with no detail on leaving brown mounds in the yard. And gophers are a little bigger, correct? I've never seen either in real life, but I mean, the image makes it look bigger for sure. You want to try submitting the gopher? I don't know, I'm sitting on mole, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Black mold. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't to tell you, but shove a moldy backyard. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yes. That took us so long to even. I'm kind of concerned. Are, are we are we actually right on these, or is it just given that as in we finished the? Call? I I honestly don't know. Sometimes we can't get things wrong. That's the purpose of the game. But we don't have, yeah. and we don't have but... much access to everything. So. Yeah, and we don't even know. <sighs> We just gotta wait for another call, and hopefully we can access more of this thing. Mm -hmm. So... Ugh. Uh, Twig Sigmund here. Just calling to inform you that, uh, your refrigerator's been running loud over here for the past 45 to 90 minutes. So <laughs> better head on over and catch this big fella. Bro, sounds Ooh. exactly like a Redditor. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm sorry, it, sorry, it's just a telemarketer call. Nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, what the frick? <laughs> you just you know, it's so freaking slick. Just. <laughs> oh. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow, and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. The stress of this stupid lawn's giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Sir, you're drunk. <laughs> this is the wrong service. <laughs> get the frick out of here. There's no way. There's like nothing we can do. All of these are just insects and animals. There's nothing to do about wall mowing service. Uh, mole, I guess, because they live in the yard. They not mole, the other one, the, the groundhog go guy or whatever. Go go for <laughs> you, I had it the whole time. How do you forget? Oh, those are capable of biting you with affecting deadly diseases such as rabies. Okay, okay so <laughs> go. The best we're gonna get. We're just gonna tell him go for. Just <laughs> go for go for. Can you, can you log, Can you mow my lawn, please? Go for. <laughs> 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 what the frick did he want us to do there? <laughs> oh, our shift then. Your shift is ended. Accuracy of 75%. 75. What do you There's mean? There's no way we got that. It's gonna tell us we got that last one wrong, isn't it, bro? Oh my god, bro. There's like uh, nothing we can do for that last one. We didn't have anything. Brother can suck it up, bro. <laughs> He can suck it up. That's not our problem. He should. He should. He should. Mo he should stop being lazy, making his kid do his freaking chores and mow the goddamn lawn. What the hell is this uh, email? You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You were in danger. Quick today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not 
too late to quit freely. Trust me. Hey, Ditmo, I think it's about time you stopped drinking for once. Because I don't understand a word I'm, you said. I'm sorry. I think you are supposed to refer to Mike. Oh, I was, I was just calling him Ditmo. <laughs> <laughs> That was definitely the guy talking about the lawn, bro. Because that dude just looks like an <laughs> idiot. There's no way. All right, Tuesday. Let's see where to go from there. That was pretty good. That was a pretty good That's time. A goofy game. Oh, wait. 75%. I... We were below what we achieved, actually. Oh, we were? Yeah, 90% from what the email said. Oh. They wanted us to get 90% or more, is what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. Oh, uh, shit. Let's just hope that we can get something good and we can compromise with something. Hopefully. Yeah. Also, by the way, I've never seen this game before. I know we were talking about it the other day, and I was like, oh, it sounds familiar. No, I don't recognize this game at all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's Carol again, your supervisor. Hey, Carol. I want to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Yes! Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Okay. Well, that's good. So what do we get? We got a, ba a bed teeth. What? What the fuck is a bed teeth? A uh, bed teeth? They, they're scared of the freaking teeth fairy now? What the frick is this? Carbon monoxide, that's something. Cell that. Cellar gross. What the? Oh! Oh! We need, peep, we need to peep the teeth right now. We need to peep the teeth. No. <sighs> Sorry, I'm uh, uh, calling to see if you might know about anything I can do to. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Uh, Please hold. Um, what are we supposed to do with that? And for with what we... Okay. Frequently this report musty smell, allergic reactions, or breathing problems. Would this possibly be close, or should we look at it a little more? Well, he's known for allergic reactions and breathing problems, so we should put it up there, but we should keep all this new stuff while we have time. We'll wait. We gotta look through some of this stuff. We need to hear the audio to all of these now, because... <laughs> the bed tooth, really? What the... the slug? That is oh way too big. <laughs> That's our large dog-sized slugs. <laughs> what? We need a freaking audio sample, please. Oh. Oh no. A pie pod. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's in the oh, some species of, of hob, tube-like structures. They bear no false face. What? What about pipe growth? <sighs> what is that? <laughs> are fungus that are known for making homes inside of are known to make loud bubbling noises house fires that's something house fires there's a huge red flame on top of my house what do i do house fires <laughs> frozen pipes don't frozen are you kidding me? Nah. Are we doing freaking Lincoln poops now? What the frick are we? Are you gonna, like, what the? Fractured hop. They're known to cause physically similar to Hobbs stature. I think it's what? gotta be black mold. Like I don't. I uh, carbon monoxide. Dizziness, headaches, and leap. Okay, can we, can we see what the black, what the bed teeth is, please, before we do... I mean, we could just submit the black mold and then we can read it, so... Oh, I was wondering if it had freaking audio. This? So at this point. This? Oh. Okay, so black mold, mm -hmm. we agree? Yeah. Okay. A rare kinds of household fungus known for growing in small cone-like shapes of un 
underside the bed sheet blankets or comforters. Is that a real thing? So I'm gonna be freaking paranoid about that if, for the rest if, of my life. If Holy that Christ. are not directly harmful to human to most humans given their brief sleeping schedule. However, they tend to gradually grow sharper over time. It flipped untreated, which could lead to infection in open wounds they cause. Okay. Hey, it's our good buddy Tim! Hey, yeah, you back brain sent me some info when I was asking for some lawn care. <laughs> now my whole family's sick to our stomachs and itchy as all get out. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, huh? jerk. What? Uh, yeah, so... That is, isn't that the guy who was asking about the frickin' lawn? Yeah, and apparently his family got sick over, what, a gopher <laughs> that we sent them? Yeah. Did you read the description at all? It said they can bite you and give infection, you frickin' Nimrod. Oh, uh, oh, crap! <laughs> I yeah. didn't read it! <laughs> the, the gopher thing? Yeah, the gopher and the mole. They both do the same thing. They do, yes they do. They're literally the same thing in those descriptions. Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery? At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Nope. Goodbye. Bro, oh, please. Uh, bed slime, maybe? Or stair slime? Whatever the frick? I don't know. We I, peek the descriptions we of new things. We haven't read the rest of these stuff. Maybe we could just look for what we Yeah. Can. Definitely. We need to freaking read up. <laughs> Common hops. Pod. I don't even know. Best, oh, wait, wait, wait. This is our guy. They're co they are known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and common sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Danger. Hobbs are not dangerous to humans on their own. If provoked, however, they are capable of mischievous acts and metamorphosis. Solution. Hobbs cannot be compelled to leave on their own once nested in a home. Instead, one should make measures to prevent provoking metamorphosis by leaving out a bowl of or or milk at night. <laughs> uh, Frick, Santa Claus? I mean, That thing looks straight out of a Hobbit movie, but that's our guy. That's the other center guy. I mean, you can look at the other ones if you want. No, right? I was looking at the oh. transcription a little, and, uh, like, when she said, I keep hearing all the noise coming from the living room, and if you're saying this is the guy... That sounds like people going around in your living room. Can we just discuss how the first time we played that, though, the music kind of... This one? ...got haunted? You played the audio sample for the common hob, and then the music just... The music on the first time, not the second time, just bugged out a desk hob. Oh. oh. Regular... The regular will frequently sort and order materials in the desk to their liking. They're physically similar to other hobs, but are generally much smaller and have raspy, loose hair. I don't like this whole they do not bear a false face. That is concerning. Yeah. But so, I, I'm thinking it's a common hob. But yeah. if you want to peep the other ones to double check, that's fine. Uh, I, I. Because we didn't really unlock so much, and who would make that noise at night of clean the house? Yeah, and they only come out at night, which is why she doesn't see it. <laughs> Oh man, where things get weird. The music turns off too, oh no. Yeah, it turns off every time when we beat something. What the? I know, but something about it this time especially is weird. Yeah. Ugh. Oh! I've been having a heck of a time over here. I got these snappers itching and whooping and crying all over the place. Just all over the place, I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining, and I can't get a wink of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Okay, drunk Cleveland. All right, uh, let's see how we can help this guy. <laughs> I think I think you refer to him as Buzz Goober. Well, anyway. Buzz B. Why does it look like a dead mermaid? I have, I have no clue. 
False beast or creature with beat like appearance that are known to trick gardeners into harvesting and eat eating them by di disguising themselves among their vegetables. Okay. Another call? Oh. I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please! Again, what the frick have the police been doing? What, are, what is this supposed to refer to? What the... Well, what? my instinct says termites, but with the hobs, we really need to check all this stuff. Okay. Like, everything I, to be I, safe. Is she saying something uh, about crawling in the wall? Yeah, crawling in the walls and bite marks on her bed. Which... Yes, marks... Just... What? Is the red, bite, far, bite marks is the glaring red flag for me. But, yeah, yeah, but it's definitely not bed teeth for the most part. It's gotta be some creature. or Yeah, insect, definitely. To be crawling around, because funguses wouldn't do that. Definitely. So, it's gotta be something small that fits inside the walls. Ugh. Yeah, but also something that can leave bite marks, which is what makes me doubtful on the whole termite thing. Spiders can't do that, correct? No. Don't sure. worry, we're not going to get the image, thankfully. Uh, we'll never get the image because I censored it, but I really don't want to hear the noise or see any video of it, though. So. Don't worry, don't worry, I won't make you suffer through that. Termite and carpenter ants are really there. They're like between. Wow. I know, but like the bite marks, right? I, that's how it works. I'm going to check the unusual options that we have, too. Pipop, definitely not. No, because they're in the pipes. That wouldn't have anything to do with their bed. Because you have to remember, they leave bite marks on the bed. Correct. I don't know. I don't know if it's mice though. I well, they commonly report gnaw marks. Yeah, but no. Maybe. But I don't know. Are, are they small enough to even go in there? Yeah, rats can get in your walls. Yeah. Huh. That's a, that's actually a genuine like thing. They, but, they you could. That's an option for but, us. But we still the way we. Just the way she was like panicky, it just feels like I wouldn't uh, over a mouse. Uh, the way I don't know, I just feel like we need to just be very cautious of our decision. But our, the mouse is looking like our best choice so far. Yeah, but she's and not this... hearing them. That's the thing. She's not describing that... noise so much. I know she's not describing. Well, she's not describing the little. <laughs> but they still make noise running around in the wall. So it's still an option, but we need to see what these other ones are. Wait, 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 read the description of this. They are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of homes they inhabit. They physically are similar to other hobs with longer, wild... They also bear a false... They also bear a false face. Can you play the audio? That might be an option, but it doesn't say anything about leaving gnaw marks or bite marks. That or... In the walls of the humans, they have. She doesn't. She doesn't describe the mouse noise because she doesn't hear squeaking. She's hearing something that isn't a squeak. This is. You think this is our option here? I want to say yes, but. It's That's... it's so unsure. We're in a whole another realm of expertise here with these extraterrestrial heaven creatures. I gotta go for it, right? We gotta. We gotta try. <laughs> I trust your decision making, man. I'll leave this to you. God damn it, I chose the wrong thing. That'd be funny if you selected frozen pipes. F fracture hop. Right. Sure, man. <sighs> because he has a mouth. He definitely has a mouth. And you still want to know what false face means. Like, it's not a real face. He, they, like, look at it. Like, you, you could tell that he has an eyes and mouth, but still. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but, uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or droppings or whatever. So they're not mice this time. 
Yeah, Please but hold. but it can't be a fracture hop then, possibly. Yeah, it, it's we should check our other hops too. It could be a de desk hop. I don't know. Desk hops, uh, because what mm -hmm. I've been hearing in my house lately, scratching something. It's real quiet. They make a lot of itching noises. These ones. They are physically similar to hops. He doesn't say anything about sorted materials. Right, just like minor scratches, right? Yeah. We need to make sure we're checking for new things too, because it does just randomly update. Like, Bat was never there before. No, Bat was like part of the update, and I clicked the first thing when it popped up. Oh, this is so hard. This is really hard. You have to play a guessing game with this. So he's hearing noises. He's not seeing no... droppings. No droppings, no bite marks, so no damage, which makes it really hard to say fracture hob. Because isn't their whole thing leaving damage, or...? I don't know, because I don't think it's a tick. Definitely not. And it's not termites, because they're really small. Oh my god, you know, the ticks could have been that thing that was giving that... Well, I don't know, actually. Anyway. Uh, no. I mean, I don't know if it's that. It might be the pipe growth because that's in the pipes, which is in all walls, and it's probably making scratching noises from it growing. Oh, whoa, that sounds like a freaking dog. So, if he assumed it was a rat, and he left traps out, those could have been the cheese traps. It is a home classic trap. He's a like hop hop. It's a, it's a stretch, but like that's all we've really got. <laughs> This is so difficult because everyone's being so vague about it and we have to guess it personally. Yeah, and no one thought to record. What's a frozen pipe description, by the way? We never looked at that. Oh, yeah. Uh, common house hazard during cold seasons, characterized by water inside pipes freezing, expanding, causing stoppage, cracks, leaks. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah just banging sounds and whistling. You guys We know this one already. This is easy. This is the desk cob. One hundred percent desk cob. Desk cob. Let's double check before making that decision. Uh, yeah. Regularly tie tie their home. Will frequently sort and order material in the desk to their liking. They are physically similar to other hobs. Not dangerous. Can't be removed. Prevent further damage. Measures prevent. Advise to leave breadcrumbs on the desk each night before going to bed. So it's gotta be a desktop then, correct? Yeah, agreed. Like this one is something we can learn from. But if it's like a something within the wall they can't really tell what it is or making it vague, then it's hard. 60% Oh my god, we did poorly. We're getting scammed. We're getting We're getting mad scammed. We get no shit. The like, oh my god, god, if my son's not mowing his lawn, what are we supposed to freaking do? I don't know. Do it yourself. No, I gotta give him some outlandish freaking creature. Like, okay, buddy. Uh, we got a broadcast video. Yeah, let's keep the broadcast. Hmm. Bro, the movie just started. Are you kidding me? It was that advert. This is definitely oh, an ad. Open, bro. I don't know. Imagine just... Didn't they do stuff like this back in the 80s to 90s? Just offering homes? Mm-hmm. Because this, this is a nice price. For a house. Something um, is not right with that middle window. A civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Yeah, and that window's open while the other ones are closed. Four counting so far, damn. This is a missing persons 
missing persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker male brown hair approximately four feet tall last seen wearing a yellow shirt brown shorts and white tennis shoes suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall barefoot wearing a large bush or shrub on their person last seen at approximately 10 25 a.m. Please oh, wow. any unusual activity to your local authorities. I would not buy that house. It's overgrown. Uh, Have you ever bothered checking the other apps on this poor computer? I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> we got another one from Mike. They gave, they gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you if you end up like me, join me in this role. You haven't found me yet. It's a safe here. Uh, oh, sure. network, network errors. Attention, call team or network team is migrating our back end services over to a new hosting provider this week. So you may experience some occasional network errors over the next few days. Please be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you still have access in case with the network goes down while you are on the phone with the client. You will be still be expecting to provide accurate answers to our callers regarding of the network status. Okay. Well, let me see. Responders with a 90% accuracy will... Okay, we'll be qualified with coupons. Okay, that's the one I was re that I was thinking about when I said that. Oh, okay, wait. What is NSC Discord? Oh, that's literally just an advertisement. I'm slow. And then credits. Yeah. Reset weekly progress? No, thank you. And Discord, as usual. I didn't realize there was a literal Discord link in the game. It was like, it comes. <laughs> Every dev game, game dev is doing that. And... Mm -hmm. I don't know how to feel about it, because I know they're trying to build up a community, but still. I don't mind it. It's not like they're throwing it in your face, you know? It's a subtle little thing, that one, too. Right. So. Though, I, what I really don't know what to think about is the people who join every single one they get, because how do you keep up with all those surfers? I have no clue! So, we'll probably get, get more access, probably. I don't know. Probably. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. We've updated your permissions. Okay. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with for your future call. Hi, Carol. Be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can she continue seems providing nice. our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Thank you. <sighs> okay. What are the new stuff? Permissions have been updated. Bogart? What the f- what the frick is that? Whoa, whoa. It looks like a person's head. It's a on the metamorphosis left. hob! My god! A what? It's a metamorphosis hob! You're so sick. literally the evolution of all of the hobs we've been seeing? Oh my god. That oh, dang that's a dangerous to our humanity. Hey, yeah, thanks a bunch for the terrible advice you sent me. My kid just fell through the frickin' wall from all the damage they dealt. <laughs> we found out on our own what was going on. See you never. Oh shit. Well, at least he didn't get it. His kid f no, 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 no. I want you to think about what he just said. His kid fell through the wall. <laughs> the wall. So, what, probably a termite, probably. Yeah, probably was termites. Damn it. False artifact? Huh. Mm. False rosebush? It's huge, almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Please call Matt Pat? Yeah, it's the slime. Was that Matt Pat? No. Kind of sounded like. Okay. We should check everything else first, all the new information we have, before jumping to this conclusion, because it didn't- he didn't describe the slimy substance at all. Right. 
But they're big as a dog, though, and they're creaking. They're really mm -hmm. heavy, then. I'm th I'm most That's certain the stair slug, but from what you I said... Agree, but I just want to... With all these, there's so many new stuff, and things are getting a little out of hand now. So we should just be safe. Right. Know? Vicious liquid substance that can sometimes form from wood that has been mistreated it is known to drip from wood materials such as furniture or walls, causing a sticky pooling buildup. If ingested, keep animals and human children away from secretion at all costs. Not that. Wine sprite? <laughs> what the? What? There's something in the wine! Oh my god! The wine? Oh, Jesus, that's disgusting. They are small, large eyed winged creatures with transcuid skin that often appears red while they are feeding. They are they have a long uh prop uh proscus that is used to drink. Homeowners infested with wine sprites commonly pour broken glass and their wine having a raw taste and smell. Whistling fungi? Sounds like whistling. Uh, unicorn fungi, huh? Uh, what? Rare? Oh, it's a unicorn looking growth on the dog's forehead. Oh, that, that's sad. Poor guy. You know some little girl's gonna think that's cute and let it grow on her dog. Uh, they're not harmful to humans, however, they can often lead to other household problems such as broken floorboards, uprooted plant plants, or waking up other things beneath the soil. What? Wait, what? Waking up other things beneath the soil, what? excuse the frick out of me? Why are the descriptions for these so vague? What is a tea sprite? What the- Oh, no! What's a toilet hall? Oh! Oh, yeah, I'd rather have that door closed. <laughs> me too. Memory wisp. Due to clerical error, the audio sample provided above is incorrect. This issue will be corrected by the end of the month. What is the audio sample? Memory are invisible and odorless household wisps. They are known for removing memories from the house. Oh, they remove pictures. Mirror and nymph? The mirror and a mirror and nymph. Stealing the likeness of homeowners and pass, passerbys. They are generally small, faceless, and voiceless humanoids carrying a large mirror. That they back on others to look into. Homeowners afflict by mirror. Knives commonly report not being able to recognize their own face. Oh no. God, what is going on in our world? Like, they said they're not a direct danger to humans, too. That's crazy. Wait, really? Yeah, looking back at the dangers for the mirror nymph, it literally just says they're. But... Oh. Okay, let's get back to David. We can probably get rid of that slug problem, right? Okay, because what it's a it's the stair slug, right? I think this is close enough, right? I mean, yeah, sure, man, go with go with it. I'm I'm not confident anymore. Because the stair soon slug is the big as the dog, and they the look we... big. Yeah, they do. But what was it again that you told me memory was? The the mirror nymph. Um, mirror nymph. What? It's still crawling in the walls. Those instructions you said didn't work at all. I'm going stir crazy here. I still haven't been able to sleep. I hope you all rot. What? That's the woman we told about the freaking. Oh, that she had uh. The fractured. I, this is so difficult. Because I've I've never dealt with termites, so I don't know if that was the answer or what. Oh lord. It, it was probably the rats. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it. Along with this. Uh, Nasty smell. Okay, okay well, that's old. pretty well, easy for us, this, I think. This has gotta be something within a bathroom hob or a pipe issue. It's the pipe, I think. The so, pipe, the just check both of the pipes. Uh, I, I feel like it's gotta be one of those. So pipes are a type of a fungi that are known for making holes inside dam tube-like structures such as 
and will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. This, this can actually harm kids because kids are reaching their hands inside the pipe while this is active. Oh god, you're right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh no. Rip kids. Oh. I'm thinking it's the freaking this one. This one I'm thinking it is. Uh, from their home at night, consume ether, grime. We should listen to the noises, by the way. He said the noises they made were disgusting. There's no noise from that. It just sounds like the pipe hops clean the pipe more than making it bad. Mmm. So probably not then. Probably not. Uh man, this let, is hard. Let, let's keep that as a pin though, just in case. Actually, this might be close. Yeah. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smell and banging, whistling sounds coming from it. It does definitely sound disgusting. Yeah, I gotta say it's the frozen pipes. That's the closest we can ever get. Probably. So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, hey, you don't think all those missing people are the people we're failing to give correct information to, right? Oh god, if it, if it is. Because Holy. how many people did we did say missing? Like, huh? I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. Can't see face. They're all gone. It's all gone. Please hold. That's gotta be a mirror. Memory wisp. Memory. Memory wisp. The mirror wisp impersonates, and people can't recognize their own face. The memory wisp takes away your memory of others. Oh my god. And the inability to remember the faces of loved ones. Oh my god. So this man's. This man's fucked. He's not. He's not gonna be able to see her face now. Wait, is it a permanent thing? It's a permanent thing. The solution says we'll move out of the house once they've stolen away the inhabitants' memories. There's no need for further action. Oh my god! So, so this they man give up on him. Oh my fucking god! So it's this memory whips is a deadly sinister to our society. Yeah, and the game, and the game is like, oh, it's not a threat. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, yes, there is. Oh my Memory god. Important. I am. What the frick? That actually hurt. That actually hurts. They can steal people's identities and pretend to be them, and they don't recognize themselves. But it's really no big deal, no oh. threat. Just let it be. seen such a big old mess left behind by your pest control team. Just tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. He's oh, nice. dying. Up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out my This man throat. has got a sunburn all around his face except for his nose. Next Sunday. Now, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> Drill. Sawdust coming out of his drawers. He's already hanged up. Yeah. <sighs> we can't make that right, buddy. Sorry, but we don't even remember your face. Jesus, it's okay. tough. Okay, and so the music we... stayed off this time. So we failed... What? We failed six people now? A lot. Uh... Hi? I, uh... I have no idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them, and my <laughs> legs easy. itch like crazy. This is easy. Do I need to be showering more often or something? I usually shower like once a week for my skin health, so maybe what? that's it. Buddy, bro, it's too little. All right, it's Did way it too. <laughs> like it, every other day, okay, people can work with that. But once a week is insane. Oh no! Oh no! No, oh, God, the network. 
But Ben's right. called it's, infection. Right. This is bad. That's like that for everything. We can't recheck our information. It, it's dead teeth, but this is just bad for future. Okay, okay. Um, what can we, what can we recall about bed teeth? Because they are sharp. Do they cause um an infection buildup if by an open wound, right? Uh. -huh. Open wound. They cause an infection by an open wound. Isn't that mm -hmm. correct for bed teeth? Or am I? Oh yeah, no, this guy's in danger because he thinks he's smart, not to shower, but once a freaking week. <laughs> okay, so, so yeah. it's bed teeth. It's bed teeth, 100%. 100% bed teeth. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, no. We gotta try remembering. This is we bad. Can remember all of that information. We can try. I... I... <laughs> Oh, no. Please. Oh. My. G. Willikers. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my... problem. Wanda, you're done. It's done. It doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has some cracks, or maybe it's peeling? I'm not sure. I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch, but he would never do that to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Your cat definitely did that. There's, we, we can't help you, lady. <laughs> we can't help you, lady. Oh, we got oh. power! We got it! We did! Yes. Okay. Oh, thank god. Um, okay. Termines are small infect infest insects known for consuming decay. Uh, I, I don't... Peeling paint. Can we look at the freaking the one that the one hob again? I just want to the... see that. <laughs> the uh, what was it? It was a the fracture one that hob. we've already picked twice. Yeah, the fracture one. I don't think he caused this though. To cause cracks and fractures within the home they inhabit. For cracks and peeling. Yeah, we should definitely look into this a bit more. I don't think it's that one. Yeah, because nobody has reported a missing object or missing children's report. If she has a cat, she's aware of her surroundings, so that means she doesn't have a fracture hop, correct? Probably. Because she's really aware, it sounds like it, at least. Yeah. That might be it. If, it, if we get this correct and she dies, then that's going to be on us. You, yeah, I mean, we're gonna call tomorrow if she if we're wrong. That's yeah. something that's good to know, actually. If we can remember the faces and name, or their, yeah, their faces, then we should be able to tell which ones we got wrong and learn from it. But it's kind of hard to remember all of the callers. Right. Do you think this is some kind of joke? Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. And the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's what? stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house, and you figure it out now! Brother. We haven't got to him yet, have we? I feel- No, he was the one we told about the freaking the basic oh. cob. Oh my god, we have to try again with him. This is the one where we told it, because that's the, that was the solution for the house mold or whatever. Uh, house, the common hob. Was it a common hob? I thought the common hob yeah. was- no, the common hob because they were complaining about cleaning their house, and then every, every time there were like robberies and stuff, right? And that's the solution. Someone told him, look, scroll the solution. Better with cream or milk at night. And now he's out of power. That's something to note. His power's gone out. We need to figure this out. Okay, so it can't be a common hob now, luckily. Yeah, I mean, it gets one out, I guess. Because we didn't take care of him yet, have we? No, because now that I think about it, the, we told a woman about the common hub. Yeah, and that was like two, three days ago, and we are still fine. This is a difficult one, because we don't know what would cause a power outage out of everything we have. Right. 
Because with Sacred, it's only harmful to humans, so I doubt he'll have anything. All we can really go off of is the fact that whoever he called last told him it was a hob. So it's gotta be something we could confuse for a common hob. Okay. So what the frick are we gonna confuse with a common hob? He's hearing racket. He's not complaining anything about anything being out of the ordinary. His power's out. This is tough. This, this is really tough. This is tough, because I don't think we have anything to tell us about a power situation. What's a bogart again? A bogart is a metamorphous hob. Oh. Household accidents are just electric out of... They are- Don't know! That, that's the thing! Whoever told him last was right! He screwed it up! Because he... remember, if, so... you, if you provoke them, they manifest, and this is the manifestation of it. So he's now- gonna die soon! So he's dealing with the bog art now! Oh, shoot! Holy Jesus, we need to read more on this. Do not refer to an active bog art by any name. Once you become aware of its presence, simply vacate the premise. Provide you do not speak to the Bogart at any time or in any fashion. It will remain in its original location. Oh shit, so he, he needs to move out. <laughs> Yo, he's gonna screw that up, bro. He's gonna freaking <laughs> he's gonna screw that up so bad. He let it evolve into a Bogart. And he's just Yeah, because we're doing it. Oh my god, he let it evolve. That's why. He let that jump pokey even. Hey! It. Well, you know, yeah. our first hundred percent accuracy. That's good. Let's just go, dude. We've been doing this for so long. We're professionals at this, right? Who's Buffer Danity? Oh, uh, that's Ban that's Ban Danity. He's uh, he's from the uh, Lonely Boy server. I think uh, he's in a call with Syra right now. Ah, uh, got, 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 got. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I I can't believe we actually got hundred percent. We did it. Also, we got a new tape and mail. Yeah, so you rather look at the tape? Yeah, let's peep the tape and then the mail, I guess. <laughs> Night graphics. Better than Toy Story. <laughs> the mystery of mice, oh god. Oh, this is an episode. Mice. One of humanity's oldest friends and oldest enemies. From the black plague to the shelves of our pet stores, mice have lived alongside humans for centuries. And just like humans, mice may even be evolving alongside us as well. Oh no. This is a mus musculus, otherwise <laughs> known as the common house mouse. Okay. And this is Mus Musculus Loquentis, <laughs> otherwise known as the Smug Mouse. What? A newly discovered a species. Smug Mouse? A colored iris. And more importantly, Ooh, it's blue eyes. intelligence. Mice have brains smaller than peanuts, and yet, modern science has observed they are capable of thinking quite intelligently. And in the case of the Smug Mouse, perhaps even capable of communication. With the help of modern computer technology, today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse, and have discovered oh, what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Or are we just hearing things that aren't there? What Do the mice and men have say? more in common? Than <laughs> well, I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. <laughs> I'm sorry, did that have subtitles that I was supposed to be reading? Because I wasn't in the room for that. There, there was like, help me in the after thing, but I just feel like it didn't make sense. Not at all. Unless all of that squeaking translated to three words. <laughs> Introducing a new office pet. Aww. Aww, hey, where is Wait a minute. No, that lily died. What? No, no, that's that chick's cat. You know the one who told him what the time is? That's her cat. 
<laughs> she said, it's okay. Wait, remember the chick we were talking about? The, the white chick with the black hair. She said, oh, if I need a whisker, she knows better than the scratch at the walls. Yeah. She lied. We, th that's her cat. Wait. That's Wait. <laughs> She said, "Who's doing body makeup? That's your cat." <laughs> oh no! Oh fucking no! <laughs> word for word, bar for bar. That's a hundred ten percent. Oh my fucking god! That's actually the cat. <laughs> hey, we got our silver medallion coupon. Ooh, what does this do? Let me see. Uh, to receive your discount, simply type the code on your online checkout. Uh, pedal to the metal. <laughs> Do we have a... Wait, we get $100 off of a freaking pendant. Are you serious? Let's get Thursday going. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm not feeling too good about this. If they, if we have whiskers with us now, then that... I'm really not looking forward uh... to that phone call. Yeah. Uh, but we I... got a hundred percent right. So what the frick happened? Wait, no. Wait, if we got everything right and we still ended up with her cat, was she just doomed from the start? Was there something else? Because she she had something again, tearing up the wall. So, but know. we were right. Hi, 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 Carol. I've been watching the closely, employee. I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy. I have and you updated Thank your you. mission, so you should have access to more extensive household hazard information. Keep oh, God. Work employee. Our eyes rest upon me. Right. Why is she speaking in tongues? Agnome? Knocking or rapping sound? Rapping? And their feelings. Surplus of dust coming from their ventilation. Oh, there's oh, something God. about the Fae Flu that relates to another... Cellular Grotto? I think the map is something wrong with her faucet. Recently, I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, it still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't ever had any problems up until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? Okay, if he's talking about a pipe problem, this is probably a pipe growth problem, like... Yeah. Okay, who played that? Ian! Pipe growths are known to- I didn't read the danger for this. They Eat anything that attempts to come inside their domain. And clogs the pipe indefinitely until their removal. Well, you never said anything about a clogged pipe, because if you think about it, if it's a clogged pipe, they wouldn't be able to use their sink. It still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems up until now. I keep hearing things about rusted pipes and water poisoning. And all okay. Of so, hear it out. Maybe, maybe we were listening on the wrong detail there. He mentioned that he thinks the problem is the water and the pipes. But we should also keep note that he's complaining about stomach pains and freshly grown food. So and we do have a oh, fair amount wait. of outdoor threats now on wait our list. Wait a minute. What about the and false two beat? Pipes. False beats. Let's see. That are known to trick garters in harvesting and eating them. Harmless unless eaten, by which point they will take root in the human stomach, feeding off nutrients for its lifetime. This can cause digestive issues and potential back problems over the course of the human's life. A swallowed fowl's beak cannot be removed without killing its host. Oh god. He's dead. His family is dead. Well, so this is the only thing we can think of? Real quick, I know this is gonna sound stupid, but. Hey Siri, is beets a vegetable? It's fruits beets and vegetables. Beets are a root vegetable with many health benefits. 
This is from Healthline. Yeah, it's a vegetable. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it's fruits confident. and vegetable. It's always gonna be a vegetable. I grown up at a Kroger's uh, working there, so I know like it's in a it's in the produce department. I've never eaten beets before, so it's it's a weird sh shaped fruit. I don't know why people don't buy that so often. Definitely. Definitely. I think you're on the mark. Because I got I got I got really sick on the type that he said because just aches and yeah. pains constantly so it's definitely a false beat yeah i'm glad we steered away from the whole pipes thing there i'm, I'm glad you really put that out there oh uh, dude i i hate when the music just goes out like that <laughs> and then just the computer noise is all we hear i am okay. concerned about the cat owner me too. And we haven't got an update call because we did 100%. This is our first like, call of the day. <laughs> that was, but we're not getting an update call either. Usually they show up like a me. Ooh. The police told me to call this number, so I uh, hope I got the right number here. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, think, I think somebody is stalking me. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. When I close the window, I can still hear him out there, breathing. I've night been gnome. sleeping on the couch every night this past week, just so he won't see me. The police said they can't do anything, so please, send somebody or do something about this. I can hardly sleep anymore. Alright. Well, okay, she started out as like Papyrus and then slowly turned into like some Looney Tunes character. <laughs> exactly. Like the witch or something from Looney Tunes. Frequently stare people at night and they are, they cause like loud breathing or just because they're watching people sleep. That is insane. It's so creepy. And the solution is just to ignore it. We can't kill it or anything. And it's not like this one says don't provoke it. So I mean, we could. So Night Gnome. That's all we can do. Yeah. That's just, that one's just, yeah. Yeah. I'm worried because yesterday we had the internet outage on every info for that, for that one caller. Mm -hmm. And with how much buildup we are getting on this many stuff, I'm worried about not being able to remember the danger and giving the customer the wrong detail. You know? Mm. Hello, yes, I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. Lately, mm -hmm. we've been hearing awful banging noises coming from the ceiling, and the air quality mm. seems to have been drastically reduced. My daughter hasn't been able to stop coughing. Mm. Okay, short and sweet. Really mm -hmm. vague, though. Yeah. Uh, so it's an ad creature. Um... Well, wasn't there something that causes a lot of dust in the ventilation? Uh, I want to say yes, but I don't know which, though. I know there was a gnome in the attic, though. Ag gnome. Okay. Um, is often knocking a rapid sound oh, ventilation. from the ceilings. Yeah, dust coming out of their ventilation symptoms. That could be a boom to homeowners, they assume. Dust, cow cobwebs, and household pests. Such as spiders in large quantities, however, when frightened, they will violently expel their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particles into the air, causing quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. It is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly to avoid giving it a source of food. This will prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. Okay, so it's an attic gnome then. Yeah, big issue though. How do they clean up without frightening the thing if it frightens so easily? I mean, it doesn't really do anything once it's scared. Nah, bro, I'm putting that thing. What the fuck you mean? You <laughs> <spit> <laughs> my face? <laughs> you're just gonna gulp it away <laughs> of the house? Bro, I'm just you and your mind go... Hey, all you gonna see flat my windows are freaking no. Ain't no way you gonna get away with that spitting in my face. It's taking a little, it's taking a little bit of getting calls now. Oh. I'm getting concerned. I'm so scared. Please help me. The police refused to do anything. They told me to call you. Please say you can help. My, my little boy, Jeremy, has gone missing. He's eight years old and such a sweetheart. The last time I saw him was when I was tucking him into bed last night and checking his messy closet for bees to come 
him mm. down. Oh, it's silly, I know, but my poor Jeremy is always so concerned about bees and, and wasps and stuff. <laughs> I think I can. I think I know mm -hmm. what may be the issue, and I think that's the only thing mm -hmm. we have. Oh. If you can remember. Mhm. Mm I'm just trying to keep note right now. So he's worrying about bees and insects. Yeah, but messy and paws of clothing, though. Mm -hmm. I, th I think you're on. I think you're on a false artifact because it makes the buzzing noises, which is what's freaking this guy out about bugs, right? Exactly. And then. They're not a threat to adult humans because they can't sense it. And but small human and children, they suppose a significant risk. Yeah, and plus cause kids mm -hmm. and pets to go missing. So he's encased within his club. <gasps> he's in his club. Club. It has been identified. Removal is info is physically removing the object out of one's home. Past removal services should be called to come remove the object. Should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. Wait, what? So we're using these creatures? We're cap. So, okay, so if we're getting things right, so let's say we got the memory wisp right, and they went and captured it. Now they're using it. That, um, this is crazy. Uh, so we have to report the false artifact and it is tell 100 percent a false artifact. Oh no! What is going on? <laughs> uh, it's like because we're getting these right, and we're doing all we can as our job allows. Yeah, like, but it's it's, it's, so just it's just getting scary. It's just getting just, scary. What you lost your kid? Well, we will send a demon to your house for a week so you can get over the grieving. You know, just not remember your kid at all. You know, just no growth as a human being whatsoever. Oh, god. oh god. And she was really weeping too. Like she's yeah, is all she has. She might harm herself, honestly. Hi, I'm concerned somewhat about the stability of my new home. <laughs> I recently finalized the purchase and naturally afterwards found that there are several large cracks in the walls of the basement that were not previously disclosed, as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor. I mm. haven't been able to get in contact with the previous owners about this, and I'm wondering if you can offer any kind of legal advice. Oh, it's a hob. Because there's a hob that you can bait with cheese. Um, I think it and was it, a fractured mm, hop, correct? Mm, Jeez, yes, it's a fractured hop. Yeah. Why is this already becoming easier now? Like, why? Because these things are all kind of connected, that's why. Yeah, but... The guy who we told last about the fracture hop must have sold their home. Like, this, this is weird. Yeah. Like, we were struggling with the first few things over a common problem. And now we're starting to well, get the hang of it. Well, because the issue was that everything was so alien to us, and now that everything in our list is almost listed, we, we just got a clear conscience about... Something. But it's a person's face. Right. That's the same. Uh, what the fuck? What? what the frick? Oh, is this? this isn't good. Hey, so my doctor told me I should call this number. I why? Have no idea why? He won't tell me anything. He said you could help, so here goes nothing, I guess. Um, so I've recently been having just the worst headaches. And just barely, I woke up and felt my eyes were starting to look kind of pink. Wait. I'm really freaked out right now. Oh no! Wait. I have. I can't find online. Can you help me? Wait. 
did we seriously just like? Did we just seriously? Should we fire this? Please hold. You just had like half the symptoms there. The only thing off is the itchy eyes that wasn't listed. No eye discoloration. <laughs> he's he's sounding really fatigued. And if his doctor's not saying it and telling us then, then he's dealing there's with the flu. No, because there's no cure. Oh no! So he's got to deal with that for the rest of his life, if not yeah. fatal. Well, on to take precautions by keeping a clean, fay free home. He's screwed. He, what is going on? Feast. Like seriously, like most of these situations, you're like, ah, um, yeah, no, nah, you gotta move out of the house. Or right, you, what's a fay feat? Uh, oh no. no! We're screwed. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! There's holes all over my freaking house, man! Freaking holes! I'm stepping around big wooden splinters! There's no telling how much damage there is! I've got this big gaping one in my kitchen that I have no idea how freaking deep it goes! To top it all off, my skittish little greyhound goblin is nowhere to be found. She probably took off after seeing this mess. I need help. Bad. Oh, no! Please. Scroll to the top. Wait, what do you mean? Scroll to the top. Scroll to the... And slowly go down. I, I feel like there's something we saw that, like... You have to do with this, could... and I'm trying to see if I'll remember it. Just keep scrolling for it's, now. It sounds like a termite, but it sounds a lot bigger. I'm no, worried. No, way it, bigger. It's like something that can eat a dog, possibly. Oh. Now we're in this mindset where we're like, okay, this is practically normal. All right. <laughs> but I'm thinking it's either some type of gnome or a hob, maybe. Because... I'm having a very difficult time remembering... I don't think okay. I only know the fault. The fracture hop is big, but I don't know any other hop that's big as that. Cellular growth. Cellular. What is a cellular? We never checked what the cellular grotto was. No, it's a cell. It's a cellular grotto. It's more like a cave-like thing. Oh. Huh? Wait. Oh. Yes! Yes! We're back in section. Okay. Okay, check check the grotto real quick, because I am curious. Okay, grotto, uh, cellar grotto. It's literally just a cave within a cellar. We're, we'll have to read through everything again. Huge freaking holes. Wooden splinters. And there are no telling where his dog Gaping. went. His okay. whole house is probably weakened by the structure, probably. But... I don't think it- I, I don't even think a cellar grotto could do anything. I don't think we have something that unlocks that. Because still, we are a limit to mostly everything. No, we don't really have anything that screams large hole. We need to look for a different detail. If we can't figure something out with this, let's re-listen. See if there's like an, an extra detail that we just ignored. You tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! I, I want to put in a cellar, cellar grotto just in case. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. I think they were pretty much screwed with this one, regardless of what we choose at this point. Yeah. I, could, I can't think of a creature that would cause um, such a problem. I don't think we got that one right, which is unfortunate, but. It's, it's so unfortunate. to explain what in the name of Christmas is happening to my living room. I'm back from vacation and the house is already turning into a disaster not 24 hours later. And my living room is absolutely covered in soil and plants. Looks like a gosh darn nursery in there. What is happening? Is, is this what happens when you buy a bad rug or something? What kind of call is this? Soil in the house? Plants growing too, she said. Covered in soil and plants, yeah. Can't be a gopher. It doesn't have anything to do with growing. It damages gardens, not grows them. What about a mole, actually? I mean, like, I get it, but... Well, maybe. 
I guess keep that in mind then, but... They also have a close relation to ones beneath the soil, which can cause further damage if provoke. Never kill a mole. <laughs> Maybe. We should keep that in mind, actually. This is really vague. We haven't had a vague message in a while. Besides the one previous. But this is yeah, so... Yeah, because this, this, this is just new. This is so fucking vague. Scroll up. Where did you say this was? The living room or the kitchen? It, living room. Uh, covered in oh. soil and plants. All in this one dialogue here. But I mean, like, the living room can also be a feasting area, you know? It, it can. We it just don't know how the game would play that. There's not really much we can really get I, out of this one. I want to say floor roots, but I don't know if she's seeing the soil. Like, that much. And even then, like, nothing about the floor roots suggests the amount of plants that would cover it to make it look like a nursery. It's not like she said it was just a huge tree or something. I got it. I, I, I'm kind of lost here, man. I think I'll leave this one to you. I'm going to go with Mole. Okay, Jackie. Let's hope we don't see you tomorrow. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of things that we just don't have the info for. Exactly. Even with the amount of- Well, I got good news and bad news. Bad news is, the info you sent wasn't any help at all. So, Damn it. Uh, oh. Thanks for that. Good news is, I found Goblin. She freaking oh. came crawling out of that hole with a big bump on her head or something. So I'm taking her to the vet now. But, uh, no. yeah. Thanks for trying, oh. I guess. No. <laughs> She has, he has unicorn the unicorn. Fungi. Go back in unicorn fungi right now. Oh. Horn shaped, the known to grow it, heads on the furry mammals, household pets, they often affect the disposition, causing them to be drawn to the soil. But they're furiously digging around or inside their. Hello again. Yeah, I'm kind of having an emergency now, thanks to the info you sent me not being effective in the slightest. This living just... room plant situation has only gotten worse. Now the floorboards and walls are starting to groan under the weight. There's something hiding in tall grass by the couch, and I don't think it's friendly. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. She's dead. She's okay. dead. It's interesting. They they called they called today. Oh, well, God. Wait. No, wait the day. We were so wrong. We were wrong they on dig, both of them. The dogs, no, we were gladly wrong with this. The dogs dig all these holes. Broken floorboards, uprooted plants, waking up other things beneath the soil. No. No, that went for the other guy? Yeah. That was... No, John, no. We didn't think of it because it was just a pet fun guy. He could say anything about... There's something in my basement. I don't know what it is. All I know is when I open my basement door, it smells like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds like there might be a lot of water down there, too. I don't know what it might be doing down there, but I have a feeling it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please, send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Oh, God. it's getting so much harder to... I don't, I don't know about the lady, though. I don't know what she had. She had. I have no idea. She had something, at least, not an animal. Huge holes is insane. But this <laughs> dog one? Oh my god! How did we miss this? I think we literally just saw it was like a fungi that made the dog like a unicorn, and we literally just freaking passed it up as that. <sighs> what is the grotto? Check the grotto. I don't see. Okay, the solution. Look in the solution. Can we move our? Five? <laughs> Finding the creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. The creator can often reside somewhere within the grotto's subterranean lake. For safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion, or consider utilizing S HSH's grotto removal team. Damn it, so it's grotto. You need to remember to check the solutions from now on. Uh, This is... This is... It hurts. It hurts me a lot to yeah. see. Damn. I mean, I think it's nice to know that since we got, like... What the... Whoa, whoa, okay. 
That's a weird percentage. Oh man. This thing is Enjoy just getting Friday, weird. I guess. <laughs> it's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. <laughs> oh great, it's Mike Do again. Not come to the Oh god. <laughs> it's to guy from hole. Hogwarts. There's a whole breach. I believe the that hole is breached. breached. It's not safe here. I must find a new spot. It knows I'm near. Uh, scheduling changes. Regarding your schedule this week, due to the shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for being uh, a team player. Uh, Rest assured your additional labors will be recognized. Home safety hotline. All right. Get out. All right. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. Oh, brother, I am concerned. I I am feeling the danger. Um, Lovely weather we're having. Did not really consider to think to entertain the stream while it is empty. So I will just discuss myself right now. Um, We're going to die. <laughs> I think we're going to die. From the looks of it, we're probably going to die. Something tells me that email has something in relation to do with us and a warning. Which is going to suck for me. It's probably going to suck for him too. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I still have faith. I'm not concerned for our livelihoods. Alright, well... Good news about this whole game, we haven't really gone down below 50, so, if you, um, if you really think about it. Yeah, but, we have to get new information. Hello. Hi, Carol. Carol here. Thy accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your permissions what once the more. Keep up what? the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon me. This above and below the soil. What the? She's infected with something. I've been updated new entries Animations. available. Oh my gosh, we're dealing with uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff now. Um. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I think it might be my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those. Dungeon Dragon cults they say these days because he's been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic Satanistic ritual crap I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. <laughs> um, okay, this is definitely uh, something new. We need to read through everything and I mean literally everything. Things are getting worse. Trees are rapidly growing tree-like organisms that take root in human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. Because she said something about, like, black... The black substance that leaks from them un under any circumstance. And to are looking for a new home. And arrange any funeral services needed for the affected individual. Oh. His her kid's dead. Do not touch the affected person or the black substance that leaks from them under any circumstance. What? So it, they become. But you don't get it. The victim becomes the tree. Yeah, it's pretty much on it. So she clearly hasn't recognized her kid. Isn't it her kid, or is it just a bunch of other kids? Probably just her kid. Oh, brother. Last week about some noises in my house, and after following mm. the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but uh, the short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Okay, clean. Okay, do you have to be so rude, Robert? God, we might just leave you this time. Anyway, mm -hmm. go scroll up. Okay, so... Call about some noises. Uh, no. Broken do not ever enter a kobold's domain. So if they see broken floorboards inside their home, they need to leave uh, the house. They need to go. 
There's so many things that just kick people out of their own homes. Holy e Christ. Exactly, because they're not safe anymore. And when they leave that house, then it just becomes useless. Because nobody's going to buy it because they don't know if it's safe or not. That's like the back room's closet edition. Oh, God. <laughs> that or it's the high mansion hallways. Yeah. And he's complaining. What are the noises it makes? It just sounds like it's running around, right? Uh, kind of, yeah. I'm hearing I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen, in, and in the morning I usually check the kitchen frames, signs of droppings or whatever. But the but the place looks spotless. I'm not hearing yeah. I'm not hearing any clattering noise. Yeah, but if you're screwing with dishes, you're bound to get that noise. Yeah, so it's common hop. I mean, I, I wouldn't confirm it just yet. We should probably review everything else first, but that's definitely on our not prime suspect at the moment. Oh! Oh, no. No. Oh, no. That's, no. That is too... <laughs> That is disgusting. Oh, you, you can get the flu oh. for that. You can get it for the Bay flu. No. Oh, <laughs> you're getting punished for being cleanly and punished for when you don't. Oh. <laughs> we gotta go with the common hob, correct? I guess we could go with that. My confidence is slowly freaking draining from this game. I, Holy Christ. I know. That's why I rather have like a second person. We had our one high moment, and then it's just been downhill ever <laughs> since. And I'm scared we're going to get a call back like immediately. He's like, "Oh my God, now I'm dying, and I'm getting boxed up." <laughs> what the frick is wrong with you guys? Exactly. Uh, there's a freaking Digimon in my kitchen now. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't get a call back from like a person within the same day or the next day, though. No, we did. Do, we yes, did get that last I, yeah. time. I recently purchased from your company one of your home security installation services, and not a week later, I'm still getting break-ins. As I mentioned prior, someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. It's all the plant. Expect, but no one in my family feels safe anymore. None of your stupid security alarms. Even went off. Okay, so it's just... was this a complaint or is this? I think it's just to, ma oh, to make no. a complaint. Uh, so it's the fall it's flower. The... Yeah, yeah. There's okay. nothing else that sings that we have in the century. So exactly. It's a weird. It's a, it's a, it's the simplest thing we can think of. Like there's there's like yes. presence of like these entries that don't sound complex and we can only remember based off of one simple detail but if it's like multiple entries with the same unique detail then that's gonna be hard to pinpoint without coming up with a common yeah. idea even i if think the ones that make things very difficult for us are the things that have to do with like scratches on the walls and bite marks and holes those that... uh, could be literally anything oh my god Why do you get the feeling whoever's making these calls is the same thing that's sending us emails? Who knows? I'm looking at these bells right now here. I'm seeing the spit crud juice. Hey, who who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now now easy there. Get away. Get away. broke into someone's house and then killed him and then he started clicking like he was some sort of l l like straight out of stranger things or something <laughs> like one uh, does, like when like one of those mo a hive like one that, like in season three. Um, oh my god hello carol supervisor carol here i noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. Um, uh, I don't- Wait. No, wait, did they- No, wait, did- 
the guy who was making those calls, did we did he get hit on? Did did they send a hit on him or was that Oh shit. Cause now now that just adds so much more adds so much more cloudiness. Like I the... feel like those are like Oh no. What the fuck is going on? died uh, i saw this big nasty thing fly in through the window and i haven't been able to find it anywhere but i, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because i can smell this awful burning scent throughout the house can someone come find this thing and get it out of it's my the house? lamp bug Please lamp. Hold. burning sensation he it's the burning big and he thinks it's oh, oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Of course. Oh, no, come on. Well, we can already we we'll, we already know what it is. Then, so. Thankfully, we're confident with this one. That would have been so unlucky if we weren't. <laughs> exactly. Oh wait, the music. It slowed down now. It's really slow. It's sounding way too off. Mm. What in the world? So did we get? Okay, not it's again. a random generated timing. This is not normal. It, it took my daughter. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. What? Four roots. What? Four roots. It took my daughter, and she's wrapped. It's wrapped in it. It's awful. Little dangers. However, children and pets when they sleep, removal should be priority. Mm. The only issue... It doesn't drag him down, though. Is that... Yeah... Wait, wait. No, look, look, look. Look at the solution. Alright. Leave the roots alone for the night. By the morning, the dolls and the roots should be gone, and the room is safe to inhabit once more. Make any repairs to the floor as needed. That's something we keep in mind, but I, I'm not sure that's enough for a guarantee. It took my daughter. Well, that's all we have, is it took his kid, so it hunts children, and it yeah, has but... tendrils, so like tentacle-like things that wrapped around her, and it took her down with it. Okay, so... so... Roots, or should we look into like something that sounds like it? Because we haven't explored deep with the vines, though. Anything with longer, lengthy parts, essentially. I don't think it can be the vines because that takes over the whole house. But we can check it if you want. Maybe it takes things down. I don't think it does, though. Quickly assume the house block off exits. They are often, yeah, you're correct. It's not the vines at all. There's nothing that tells about the thing besides the floorboard one the floor mm -hmm. roots still search for other options because we just it's better safe to yeah. know we've cut things out yeah because we can't like it's... okay the, the last time we had this situation it was actually the fun guy yeah do you think it's a plant related thing <sighs> there was the plant where it's like don't take their roots or something right that was the false flower. We have no information with this. The only thing we have is the keyword tendrils. Something with tendrils. But what is referred to having tendrils? This kid's gonna die. Oh no, his kid's already dead. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna just do a false rose bush, but that's the only thing you can think of a kid getting kidnapped. Mm, this silence is not comforting anymore. Immediately. Her face is censored. <laughs> Dude, that's the mirror nymph. And plus, with the face being blurred, that's still more obvious. 
what? Like, looking a little darker? No, they look like they're having glare. You are no help. Oh, shit. I won't let her stay underground with that thing alone. I'm going after her. Tell my mother I love her. God damn it. You don't think it was a a cellar cave, do you think? I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, cans, metal scrap, and other such nasty things on my living room carpet. I have children in this house, and this is a very serious hazard to their health. And before you say anything, yes, I already called the police, and they told me to call this number instead. So, I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Romana, you're a terrible mother, because the thing, that, that, the thing that causes this thing to show up in your house is someone not taking care of their house. Yeah. Now, clean up better, woman. Clean up better. Do better. Yeah, it's already the horde, anyway. So. Yeah. Glad we both agreed on that. Yeah, because I remember the syringes and such. No, nothing about anything else. Yeah, is there some kind of home security camera I can purchase from you guys? For the last few nights, we haven't gotten any sleep thanks to some punks outside with flashlights or something. Oh. Someone keeps flashing these bright lights through our windows at night, but I haven't been able to see who's doing it. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens for all they're worth. Well, we know what that is too, thankfully. Um, see, like, understanding their their world is more comfortable and understanding, but mm. vague type of shit is really not helpful. Hey, uh, so... Hey, Patty. I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Yeah, I think... I think I need to go inside. The wind feels so nice. Portal. Yep. <laughs> Please hold. Ma'am, you're not God. Please vacate the area immediately. Do not go in there. <laughs> oh my Christ. I... I don't know whether I should be upset or grateful that we're suddenly getting every single easy one in the book. Because they're more out of this world nonsense. So. Well, no, they all stick out. Like, they all have a detail and we're like, oh, we know. Right. Oh, no. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. Like, I'll kick you. I went into the bathroom in the middle of the night last night, you know, and I could see something slithering under near the sink with its like uh, little tentacles or like tendrils or you know whatever. But when tendrils I turned again. on the lights, nothing was there. <laughs> I checked under the towel, like under you know like that little soap thing and everything, but I know it's somewhere. Like it's too freaking big to have gone down the drain. Still got to be hiding. He in touched here. the soap. He really touched the soap. It's the it, it has to be the soap creature. Please hold. Mm -hmm. What what name was it? Soap sprite. Mm-hmm. Cause it has tendrils. What what else is there? I guess before we do jump, Wyatt. <sighs> um, we got pipe hob, which too small. No, it doesn't leave the thing anyway. Yeah, uh, there's a toilet hob at. Agree to disagree? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Not too big. Too big to fit into pipe, but not that big to really hide. 90%! 90! Okay. So we got everything but, but one right. So... Yeah. What were we supposed to do for him, though? Also, that means we get another coupon. Oh, yeah. Better be a good one. Thunder Peak. Oh no. Great, I love the ripoff version of Natural Geographic. Oh no, it's brought to you by the Home Safety Hotline. Oh wait, That's really? where we work.
うん Okay, yeah, boots are important. Also important. Uh huh. Iron sword! Uh, <laughs> Minecraft, got it. <laughs> yeah. Climbing gloves. I guess. Oh, um, <laughs> if you're actually really going climbing. The trail, oh man. Natural cave, finally, a short climb up its prestige peak. Once you've reached the quiet zone, remain completely silent. Once you've entered the quiet zone, uh, to remove, remove, your remove your boots. What? No, there's gonna be something. Enter the cave. Enter the cave. One inside the cave, move carefully, quietly, not stop. Something's gonna come out and scare. Follow the lights, do not stray. If you hear the sound, stay still and unsheathe your sword. Oh god. Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves. For the final climbing to the peak. Enjoy the view. Mm. This would definitely get me scared. Do not want to climb that mountain. Music did not end well either. What? <laughs> no, uh. What? Oh! Look at the freaking background. What the fuck? That wasn't there before, was it? Not. Uh... Did I remember? No. Oh, I can't move it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Mike died. You're receiving this email because because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. That's a 4-30-1996. Wait, that's tomorrow. What? This address will shut down and no longer be able to send or receive email messages. Wait. You will need to support HSH. Wait a minute, what <laughs> the fuck? That doesn't make sense. Why is it... Do you know the guy who's been sending us those slurred emails? I'm aware of that, yeah, but I'm confused about the day. As of April tomorrow. 30th, that doesn't that's make sense. tomorrow. Yeah, we, but... We're... Wait, are we fired? No. No, it's the other... What the fuck is that? 
Haglin deals. That is fresh hag hide. Something's going very wrong right now. It's scary, man. Now, like, what the fuck? Saturday. Uh. Well, I think we're almost done with this game too. Hopefully. Uh. Let's just hope we get something good. Hopefully. I ain't feeling so. <laughs> Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. I've updated Hi. my permission Carol? to grant the access to all relevant household hazard information. Continue thy labors, employee. Soon thy time in the soil arriveth. Prepare thy body. The fuck, it's getting we're, weird. It's getting really weird. We're dead weird. tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day, and after that shift, we're going to get fired, aka put in the soil. We're oh, going to die. We're going to be a sacrifice or something. Alright. Mm. Let's take care of these calls. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there, because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing, because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Mm. Wait, stupid bottle. Wait a minute. It's, a, it's a wine sprite. It's a wine sprite. Hey, you sure? Ooh, yeah. Good, good catch there. Exactly, and plus the flappy. That's an that's another thing about a sprite. Okay, there is a sprite that does make flappy noise, if sounded, and this is partially close to it. So okay, what? But I, 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 that's I, really good freaking instincts there. And I want to say I'm correct, but Peanut, I know there's a similar. A uh, name to an alcohol, but I don't know. So I think this is the closest thing I can get. Yeah, I've heard Chardonnay in bars before, so I am quick to I'll agree with you there. <laughs> God, I remember that. I'm a good. warlock revenant and a troll. Oh, oh God. Oh. to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so I need to know what to do about this as soon as possible. Okay. Wait a minute. This is that purple, purple liquid we keep yeah. going back to. <laughs> yeah, the what's a Christian? Uh, oh my god. Uh, re leaking. It doesn't mention anything on his smell, unfortunately for us. It's definitely suspect number one right now, but just to be safe, we should check those new things. Alright, so Warlock Remnant that it, it can't be that I want to say because object mm. moving on their own the sound of hostile warning whispers and sight bearded figures of reflective surface yeah no what about the troll what is this Trolls are Ew, giant that looks like feet. a freaking Pokemon okay. a reanimation so we have animation and a reanimation the seeds remain oh oh uh, that's a oh, standing that's a dog. dog. Dogs are becoming more humanoid now at this rate. <laughs> oh my god, is that the dog that goes, yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No. Wait. Oh my god, they're replacing dogs and cats and leaving they their remains. Them. No! Yeah. No! What is wrong with this? Sorry. Wait, look at the danger. It describes it like if you go through, a different person comes out. Yeah, exactly. It's like a whole nother world up here. Well, if they're missing jewelry, silverware, other precious metals, it's God. because these things are eating them. What? Which is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it eats freaking metals. That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, dies in my desk. It, sin it sinks to high heaven. Oh, high heaven. That's the... That, that's actually, okay, wood secretion, because it said something about uh, candy. Candy, like, smell to them. 
Fair enough. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, it it didn't specify in the regular thing, just in the danger. Like, these little... And she had to lock her kids out from it. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. Because they were getting curious about it. I think we overthought it the first time. We over, we are overthinking stuff because we're not deeply reading it. This is actually becoming problem with us. <laughs> well, because we were like so confident for a couple of those calls, and then suddenly right, there is someone, someone watching. watching me. Outside, something is. You don't sound like Howard. And I can never get a good look at them, but I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you. Hoping you'll be more helpful. Okay, well, we know what it is and it's that tree nymph or whatever. Is it the spring gun? Yeah. Uh, let's double check it. Yeah. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Do not eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water to each night. Left in a clean dish on your porch. Oh god. You're just basically feeding them though. Yeah, it's like, oh, well you can't beat them, so join them. That's like 90% of these. It's just hopeless like, information. Like just like, it's over for you. Like, what's that? You didn't you didn't want a freaking pet? Well, you got one now. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't British. know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Mm. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Okay, Fine. definitely some sort of psychedelic yeah, I, I, I want to say this autumn. The vine... Uh, it's either the autumn vines okay, she, or those other vines. Okay, she said that she she's, doesn't like the way. She's that we blissful. Do. She's blissful. Lightheaded and and a like warm embrace. So it's autumn vines then. Wait, 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 wait! Before you jump though, we gotta consider what the brother says too. He doesn't like the way they move, the way they grow around the house. Hmm. Yeah, though I think you're on the mark there. I just I just wanted to make sure I heard that right. Okay, so autumn vines. Yeah, I'm up for that. <sighs> like the newer ones are actually becoming more understanding because they're new and yet they are sticking out like a pin on a paper. Why'd you have to put that thought in my head? I hope it doesn't. I'm really hoping it doesn't too. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm... I I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Oh, so please the doorway. Tell me how to get back to my family. Oh no. It's that Please it's hold. that neighbor would it's that neighbor doorway. We need to read the description too just to be safe. Yeah, um uh, neighbor doorway do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if steps through, the resulting parallelism will often result in unwanted household activities such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who come through the other side. Neighbor doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering triggering the parallel activity. It is advised the util utilities uh, doorway removal service. <laughs> one can prevent neighbor's doorways from occurring by practicing mindfulness and not letting one's mind wander towards wishing for alternate life paths. It's gotta be this. <clears throat> They're confused. They don't know, and they sound different. They're like they sound like they're lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though like they have people with them, they aren't in the portal. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. There's this awful smell of rotten 
rotten eggs coming from my dining room, and when I looked to see what it was, I saw this awful, disgusting pile of crap on my dinner table. It's quite big, too, which has me worried oh, that know what this, is. this mm -hmm. might still be in the house, because who knows how big this thing is. I mean, my dog can't even lay down something that big. Huh? Dog, Please dog. Hold. Uh, I forgot what it was. It was a food. It was a f what a. Fall it's a, something wasn't it's it? A, it's a fate feast. Right. All all members of the home should partake take in the feast. Mm -hmm. You can't throw this out. No. What do you mean? What is our oh company doing? sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. I've been spraying about 50 different kinds of pesticides all over the place, washed and scrubbed all the bed sheets as much as frickin' possible, and every night it's the same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Itchy kids. Bed teeth? Itchy kids with nightmares waking up. Nightmare, so let, let's hold. double check Dream Weaver for the moment. Okay. I still suggest giving the teeth a shot or checking that too. Mm -hmm. Oh god, this hold music though. It's like we have to remember the kids are complaining about spider are not complaining about spiders they're, or webs. They're, they're complaining about itchiness. And waking up early. Mm-hmm, which is what the bed teeth are known for. Do they actually call it itching? Mm-hmm. Tickling or itching. And more rarely slimy acid acidic. Mm-hmm. We haven't really done bed teeth in a while, besides that guy who yeah. showered in a w every week. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah we really, there's a lot of these things on this list that we haven't even had to use yet. Exactly, like bees. I know. I mean, I'm okay with that, because I feel like if someone described bees now not knowing what a bee was, okay. we'd be lost. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed after following the instructions you sent me. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. Anyway, we're still freezing our butts off over here. So tell me what the hell is happening right now so I can get this fixed properly. Hmm. Huh? You might be dealing with a portal problem. Please hold. Does that even bring the temperature of a home down? It just brings a breeze in. I don't think... No, it does cause up heating problems. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, discover more commonly in the basement or underground cellars. Homeowners with portals frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. Mm. Uh, last mm. week, why is it here? Mm. Does it change after the falling? Uh... But he never brings up weird dreams or an urge to enter the portal. He's I guess because he's unaware of it? He, he's... This, he's complaining about being cold, though. Yeah, we should definitely consider it, but we should probably check other things, too. Uh... No. Oh, Ew, I hate that thing. I really hate that thing so much. I'd rather have my old dog back than this abomination of a pet owner dog. Actually, though. Not really. <sighs> so just portal... That's all we can think of? Unfortunately, yes. Like, it's vague, but it's not too vague to really say. Clothes have started going missing, and at night I keep hearing this 
strange, whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. I, I tried to scare the kids off by keeping the porch lights on at night and putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Do you have any advice you can send me? Okay. Clothing going missing and a whoopee cushion sound. Please. Oh. Laundry, maybe? What? Laundry mob mode, dobe, uh, whatever, gnome. Mm. And cause problems with the washing machine. Wait. This was supposed to be with the woman 24 hours <laughs> later with the soil. Yeah. God damn it. We underestimated this one because we just thought it was stuck in luggage. Yeah, but we didn't read the whole thing. Damn. Oh, well. What about the troll? <sighs> troll. Um, 12 feet. You would think someone would see it. Are you but fucking look kidding what it steals. me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does this 12 foot tall giant sneaking into your house? Do not know. With shrill sounds of air escaping. <laughs> okay, I think this is our closest bath, that's just right. This is our guy, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but I think you may be having a troll problem. Might want to call the troll inspectors, just in case. Yeah, you got- wait! I, ne I nearly You just up. got trolled, sir. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh... Woo! I'm still concerned for our livelihoods right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're doing- well now for the most part mm -hmm. but I, I feel like i want to dive back just to get all good answers in a straight point you know but it's hard mm, i'm down to go for round two if you want to go down for round two maybe but i don't know of, of our mental beings at this rate nope. what i had a feeling man What? Uh, what, the, what the hell is that? What? The fuck? Wait. Mouth bleeding? What? We need to figure that out right now. What the frick is oh, mouth bleeding? What? What causes mouth bleeding? No clue. It affects a kid, though. Oh, no. and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon. Stop it with the same song when voice. I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside, but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Okay, ease or work on your old lady voice, whoever's voice acting that. But it's a tea sprite. Please hold. What? It's a tea- oh, it's a tea sprite. <laughs> of course. Well, we are kind of now. I don't know, but I'm scared it's gonna stick around. I think once we take care of it, I think that's when everything gets to normal. God damn it. It's gotta be. Mm -hmm. But mouth bleeding on a kid? Uh, oh. Oh god, twice in a row, too. Hi, we need some medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around the same time. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. It's the grandma. We tried hmm? washing all the bed sheets. It's the, the grandma. House, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully, the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? It's the grandma. The grandma? 
please. The oh. under the bed grandma. Wait. The monster under the bed. Oh. I don't oh. know her name. Bed hag. <laughs> no. I mean, that's it, but. You really the music. want to try? I'm confident. Oh, it's the fun guy. Can you hear that? It's been on stop lately. I replaced all of my smoke detector batteries and everything. But I cannot figure out where the sound is coming from. Smoke detector batteries, really? Please hold. What? Is it the is it the fun guy? Whistling fun guy? Mm -hmm. Sounding really scary from the bit uh, from the kid bleeding from the mouth and then it's on the ceiling. <sighs> I can cause something like that. Hey, yeah, Paul here again. Thanks a bunch for nothing, pal. I followed the instructions you sent. They did jack. I ain't got no wink of sleep. My kids are breaking out in all sorts of rashes. See you now. God damn it! It wasn't the bed teeth. All sort, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Why don't I go straight to the... Oh, because he said asthma. He said all his kids has asthma, and I remember the big thing with the... I thought the asthma the... was the other one. Um, no, the hell? hag it takes advantage of people with asthma. Oh. There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly... No! It smells so terribly no. rotten. Can you help? Oh no. Oh no, her dog is dead. God oh. fucking damn it. I didn't want to have to use that freaking thing. I hate that thing so much. I have to look ball? at it. What was it? I can't think of it. No. Puka. Uh. I hate this. God damn it. Oh, God. Poor lady, man. Fuck. Poor freaking lady. That the least favorite thing in this game is that, a dog, and that's that kind of says that, a lot for this game. That sent me to tears, like, damn. This game really went all out with that. Oh. Oh, him again. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that the guy that... Uh, killed someone. That's a, uh, it's hard to tell. It's uh, now it's just making squealing noises like a rat. Eighty-four percent. Rat. I don't want to see this. <sighs> Human uh, DNA. No. The fuck. The entity gone. browser. But the hole. We're mostly using their labors and are currently making all necessary preparations for impending dissension. Assuming you pass the trial, the soil is fertile. Keep up the great work and thanks for working through the weekend. I didn't work a whole weekend though. We die today, remember? Oh shit. <laughs> Doesn't this look a little darker now? It is. Oh shit. Mm. Even the card machine looks older now. Oh Thy trial hath begun. Oh no. Oh no. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. What are we? Why? We no! Are... We have to guess! We can't look! We have to... Oh no! Oh... That's we don't why... remember a queen.
I want to say a warlock remnant, but I don't know. <laughs> this music is really being unsettling, too. Wait, what are the ones that- what is the one that played God? Cobal? Mm-hmm. Cobal is God? Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? I wanna guess this is it. Because they're trying to act God. No way. Mm-hmm. Showcase the knowledge. Mm. Oh god. Okay, I guess Cobalt. Please hold. Okay, I'm guessing things correctly. We gotta guess and remember. I am small, I'm living. It's small, serves a purpose. It, it, it has to be a desk cop, right? Those th are they considered living? I mean, they are a hob, they, sir, they live with a purpose. Sure, I'm gonna trust your instincts, man. I think if we die, we go back to the star screen and we can just view everything that we can try to remember. Oh my god, I'm guessing. Forge ahead. Come on, give me something. Wait, does that remind a face? Dirt patch. Oh. Oh my gosh. I am a beggar. I am an encourager of the dry. I am a friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Please hold. Is it the rain? Nymph? Yeah, I think so. Nymph? Uh... Mm -hmm. Enough. Yeah, but look at that. That looks like a face, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. It's getting worse every time. We're getting somewhere, though. We're actually getting somewhere. Oh, oh God. We're Press six feet under. I am the, the bringer. Yes. What? The pestilence. That's like that. What that SCP guy considers like the disease that he must cure. Disease he must cure. What would that? What would that be exactly? Please hold. Hmm. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. This is a good ending so far, but this is really tough. Would it be the Fey Flu? I feel like the Fey Flu in this case is the Pestilence, so it's gotta be something that brings along the Pestilence. What? There- 
wait, there was something that does bring the Fae flu. Um, it was the sprite. Which sprite? Um, soap sprite. Right? Would that make sense? Well, I know it's not the other sprite, or the other sprite that I'm thinking of, so go for it. Rejoice. Oh, man. Oh, God. I think this is probably the last one, hopefully. Yeah, I hope so, too. Please. Please, let it be a good one. the domains of those who have too much step in step within they lose their way what am i the, um the closet thingy please the labyrinth the labyrinth it steals clothes and there was crying in the background of that freaking voice you're right but i I'm worried that it might be the neighbor one too. Step mm. within, they lose your way. Maybe. I seek the domains of those who have too uh, that ha who have too much. Step within. You've they got lose a point. Way. I don't know. One or the other, then. Yeah. It's a really good point. Fuck it. I'm going with my decision. Because they lose a part of themselves. They lose their entire Oh my god. Oh my god. Expand thy mind. Oh no. How where is it I don't even know if the, if these are correct or not. No idea, but we're now looking at We're looking some at some sort groups. of soil. Yeah. Who tread to tread no longer? Why are we? Please hold. I want to say the seedlings. Right? Hmm. I guess so. I'm not quite sure what it could be, to be honest. Companions. Would that mean like they were late? Companionship. It's like me and you were companions. We're friends. We're buddies. Because I'm thinking about the false beat as well. I don't think it's the false beat though. Destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and careless light. Mm. This is melting my brain just thinking about it. Would it be Sprig Tree? Possibly? It does have black substance on it. Consuming people and reckless people are the ones who go and touch it oh. this 
send. Oh wait, is our background changing too? No idea. I am the seeker, I am the one who delivers. What am I? Hmm. Please hold. Something's in this descent background, but I don't know. That reminds me of God again, because you know, it's like when he chooses a target, it's it's too late. Uh, what was that, Kobol? Yeah. Though I'm not quite confident. We already answered this too. Mm-hmm. No, we didn't get it correct. It didn't change. Yeah. So we really Hello, were on a streak. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you for some time, and I must say that we have been rather disappointed in your performance here. Oh God, Many yeah, I screwed us up. Many huh? have been altered for the worse thanks to your negligent answers. Your failure to treat your work here with the gravity it deserves has unfortunately forced us to make a very difficult choice in regards to your continued employment at HSH. Bye, Carol. Immediately, your employment here has been terminated. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. You don't think it's just our guy going crazy, huh? Huh? What? Am I a tree Wait. now? You are Wait. unemployed. The oh. guy! The are... guy who kept ca ca That's not even the emailer! Are the emailer we... is the guy who's been sending us those sworn out calls! Are he we turned into a rock too, remember? Are we the hob then? Are we like turned into the hob? No, it looked like we were turned into a rat. They described the rat as a freaking worthless being. What the? Wait. Wait a minute. Huh? What the? Oh no. It gives us a chance to restart. Oh okay. god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. 